Honorable Justice Abba Bengore, Presiding Justice, Court of Appeal Division, Ado Ekiti. You are heartily welcome, my lord. I can see the President of the Industrial Court.
Honorable Justice Ahmad Begore and his brother judges in the house would like to hear this news. Only day before yesterday, a phone call came from the GG Law School, rejoicing, celebrating with our leader, Apanda, Ariafi Balola, that apart from the fact that all our students, all the students presented to law school this year, apart from the fact that all of them passed, 12 of them made first class. You can now agree with me that what Bishop Waleoki said, that Afebala is a university that defies logic and tradition is indeed true. We go ahead from there. Abu Admis, Abu Admis, we're waiting for you. Thank you. Of course, we have our own board of trustee members in the house. I don't have to name names. We welcome all of you, sir. Members of council of this university, our principal officers, we appreciate you. Thank you for your support and thank you for showing the way. This is just the beginning. Better days are ahead.
Thank you. Thank you. We have a couple of minutes to 10 o'clock. I can assure you that this program will flag off on the dot of 10. That is a tradition here. May I inform the House, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, that admission into various programs of this university is still very much on. We are celebrating this ones today. Please plug in, bring those who are coming behind them, so that in a couple of years from now, depending on the program they are running, four, five, six years, we will be back here to celebrate them. My point is that admission is still very much on in our board. God bless you. Band, please. You could go ahead. I want to tell our parents, well wishers, that this program is being broadcast live on Channel TV. And that has just started. We thank you. Like I did say a short while ago, Admission to the various programs of this university is still very much open. Bring them all here so that four, five, six years down the line, depending on the program they're running, we should all be here again to celebrate them and rejoice with them. Thank you. Abad Ben, the floor is yours.
the panda and the award recipients of today. One thing that is significantly significant about today's ceremony is the fact that we are giving an award to two presidents. The president of the African Development Bank and the president of Unilag Alumni Association. As time goes on, you have full details. Please may we be upstanding to receive the last segment of the procession. Thank you. Bye. 
us, Lord. Father, approach us, Lord, with the rest in the thoroughly distinguished array of Baba Lola. Ladies and gentlemen, National Anthem, please. Sisters and mass. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, having honored our country and our university, with your permission, I want to invite to this side of the hall the university registrar to take over from here. Lady Christy Odubarde, please. Babalola University Law of 2010 empowers the university to hold con convocation for the conferment of degrees and award of prizes. I therefore humbly invite the Chancellor to constitute the assembly as convocation of Afe Babalola University Adu Equity for the purpose of conferment of honorary degrees, award of first degrees, and presentation of prizes to deserving persons as approved by Senate. 
and cancel. Commission 
twice voted Are Afi Babalola as the best pro chancellor in the country. Because of his unquenchable hunger and thirst and determination to ensure quality and functional education for this country, he left Unilag to start his own university here in Adwekiti. And it commenced academic work on Monday, the 4th of January, 2010. I make bold to say that I am not surprised at the streams and streaks of achievement that have been the lot of the university in its short history of existence. Today, the university is not only well known for its exploits in health sciences, accounting, computer science, its law college has been acknowledged by the National University Commission as the best in West Africa. Its engineering with the Nigerian Society of Engineers described as the template for engineering education in Nigeria and medicine with the former Minister of State for Health, Dr. Kaliru Alhazan said will be difficult indeed for any other university in Nigeria to equal. And now to the latest feat of producing its 43 pioneer medical doctors within six and a half years of the commencement of its MBBS program, a standard that will be difficult for any university to beat too soon. The 43 new medical doctors have since been inducted by the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria. The university has done so well in its eight and a half years of existence, as a result of which it has been commended, eulogized, and celebrated by national and international educational stakeholders, including, but not limited to, the Association of Vice Chancellors of Nigerian Universities, which endorse it as the most successful private university in Nigeria. And UNESCO, which acknowledges the young but trailblazing university as a world-class institution of higher learning. Discipline at a board. All of us here without exception, know very well the place of and importance of discipline in the world today. The country's educational system has lost color and character, and that is why the private and missionary universities have come in to fill the void, as they are able to turn their students into total men and women who will fit into any position in life, no matter their course of study, be it medicine, engineering, archaeology, or the languages and change Nigeria. It is a well-known fact. Education involves a blend of three elements of the head, the heart, and the hand, the three A's. And any society that fails to achieve this blend will end up producing half-baked graduates with certificates in learning who will be roaming in the streets, perpetrating all forms of crimes because they are bereft of character. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, here in Abuad, we place the issue of discipline on the front burner of our activities because we are not oblivious of the fact that education without character is a calamity. And so the discipline leadership and entrepreneurship, as well as the excellent moral training we have incorporated in them, stand them out anywhere they find themselves for them to conquer the world. The years ahead. Excellencies, Chancellor, we thank all our friends and we wish us for the support that they have given so far. 
because without the support of these friends of the university and their cooperation, perhaps a bird may not have been where we are today. That notwithstanding, we have made up our minds to conquer and continue to conquer by continuing to apply ourselves to work and do more work to enable us to consolidate on the achievements that have been enumerated and many others in the last eight and a half years with a view to making it one of the best universities not only in Africa but in the world in the very near future. When our students and academic staff are firmly taking their places in the halls of global academia, in teaching, in research, and publications, they will propel us to the very top and make us one of the very best in the entire world. There is no doubt that the Abuad brand has matured and has come by the grace of God to stay. We thank God that the founder are Rafa and his co-visionary and loving wife, Yeare Mudukwe Afe Babalola, are alive to see this child grown to maturity and adulthood at the fastest rate of growth imaginable. I congratulate all who have graduated here today and are graduating today. You wear the Abuad brand and you need to remind yourself of this every day. When people see you anywhere, let them see the hand of God at work in your life and also the Abuad brand of excellence. You are part of the Nigeria's new great generation that has benefited from this moral rearmament coming out of Abuad to build national greatness through sacrifice self-effacement, and communal mindedness, sure and pure patriotism. Collectively, we reject the moral laxity and selfishness that has bedeviled our nation in recent past. Your alma mater, abroad, the nation, your parents and guardians who are also here in attendance, this audience, all look up to you. You cannot afford to disappoint them. The world is ready to embrace you with open arms. Remember, a board is all you do everywhere you go. I wish you the very best and once again hearty congratulations. I thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Professor Tunde Adeniro, the Pro Chancellor of Afeba Balola University. Respectfully invite the Vice Chancellor, Professor M. O. Ajishafe, the Vice Chancellor of Afe Babalola University, to address the convocation. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir. <laughs>
parents of the graduating students, the graduating students themselves, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of all of us in this 21st century university, Ape Babalola University, Adwekiti, Abuad, I heartily welcome you all to the grand final of our ninth Founders Day and sixth convocation ceremonies. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we have graduated 3,090 students with bachelor's degrees since our maiden convocation on October 21st, 2013, and 104 postgraduate students from the College of Sciences and College of Social and Management Sciences since 2016. This year, however, I'm happy to inform you all that you will be graduating 1,043 students made up of 917 bachelor's degree students, including our 43 pioneer medical doctors and 125 postgraduate students from the College of Sciences, College of Social and Management Sciences, and College of Engineering. I will give you the college by college breakdown and the number of students who made first class, second class upper division, second class lower division, third class, who we are celebrating and addressing with as stated in this next table. College of Engineering, there are 21 first class students graduating. Second class upper, 56, 5, 6. Second class lower, 70. Third class, 19. Total, 166. College of Law, first class, 13. Second class upper, 56, 5, 6. Second class lower, 46, 4, 6. Third class, 6. Total, 121. College of Medicine and Health Sciences, first class, 4. Second class upper, 57, 5, 7. Second class lower, 56, 5, 6. Third class, 10. Total, 127. College of Sciences, first class, 9. Second class upper, 39, 3, 9. Second class lower, 38, 3, 8. Third class, 22. Total, 108. College of Social and Management Sciences, first class, 25. Second class upper, 135, 135. Second class lower, 156, 156. Third class, 36. Total, 352. MBS, MBBS, 43. Total. So, the total first class, second class, and so on is as follows. First class, all together, 72 in all the colleges. Second class upper, 343 in all the colleges. Second class lower, 366 in all the colleges. And third class, 93. Total is 917 honorary degrees. In consonance with the practice in university circles worldwide, the university senate unanimously approved the nomination of two eminent personalities for the confirmation of honorary degrees. In strict compliance with the 2012 Kefi Declaration, the University's Council and Senate, after a strict, rigorous, and thorough, as well as merit-based selection process, approved the nominations of two eminent personalities for the confirmation of honorary degrees in appreciation of the various ways they have impacted the society. They are 
Dr. Akin Wumi Ayodeji Adeshina, the immediate past Minister for Agriculture and Rural Development, and the incumbent President of the African Development Bank, AFDB, and Mr. John Mama, the Chairman, Chief Executive of Channels Media Group, who incidentally delivered the most insightful and illuminating sixth convocation lecture in this same hall yesterday, October 20, 20th, 2018. I therefore congratulate the duo of Dr. Adeshina and Mr. Momo most heartily for their award. They surely deserve and merit it. They will be formally decorated shortly. On behalf of the entire Abuad community, I welcome them into Abuad family. As alumni of this university, we expect them to be closer than they had hitherto been in our concerted efforts to take the university to greater heights. Therein lies part of the responsibilities of the alumni of any university in the whole world. Developments in Abuja in the last one year. I'm indeed glad to inform this august gathering that for the first time in our history as a university, we are this year graduating our first set of 43 medical doctors who were trained and mentored by clinicians and academics of international standard within six and a half years. The production of the 43 pioneer medical doctors is significant to us because we see and acknowledge it as an unprecedented feat in many ways. The 43 new doctors scored 100% in their first final medical examination. Eight of them graduated with distinction, the equivalent of first class in other disciplines. I think that deserves a round of applause. This feat in medicine has therefore complemented those of our law program, which has been rated, and I quote, the best in West Africa, courtesy of NUC, and our engineering program, which has been endorsed by the Nigerian Society of Engineers, NSE, as, and I quote, the template for engineering education in Nigeria. In nursing and medical laboratory sciences, we have consistently been scoring 100% in our examination. While our accounting students go home with two certificates, their bachelor's degree and their ICANN professional certificates, a practice not common in most other universities, private or public. All these have been made possible by Area Febabaola, who emptied himself into ensuring that ours is one of the best universities anywhere in the world by providing the resources and the enabling environment for teaching, learning, and research. Thank you, Daddy, for the provision of this wonderful opportunity. The brand new doctors have since been inducted into the medical profession by the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, MDCA, at an elaborate ceremony on Thursday, September 13, 2018, with the best graduating medical student, Dr. Esther Adaobi Azob, cruising home with a brand new MG3 car worth 5.7 million, among several other prizes in appreciation of her super, super, superlatively outstanding performance. Congratulations to Dr. Esther Madao. Just like we inducted our 43 pioneer medical doctors on September 13, 2018, we inducted 43 newly qualified nurses on September 18, and 45 medical laboratory scientists on September 20th, 2018. All of this would not have been possible but for the cooperation of all stakeholders, including our dear parents, and for which we are very grateful. Though we are barely eight and a half years old, we have been doing well. This has been manifested in our staff and students captain home awards, encomium, and commendations nationally and internationally. 
our success story notwithstanding, we will continue to break new grounds. We will continue to push ahead, attain greater heights, and navigate the ocean of quality and functional education with the overall aim of ensuring that Nigeria regains its lost glory in education. Our founder and chancellor, Are Afre Babaola, will shortly elucidate more on the achievements of this university in the last one year. While some of these achievements were celebrated yesterday at the 9th Foundation Day and Convocation Dinner, yet some others will be celebrated here today. To the graduating students, you are the reason why we are here today. I rejoice with all of you on celebration. My special gratitude goes to God Almighty for the success of the convocation ceremony. I also want to express my gratitude for the unflinching support of the Board of Trustees and the University Council members, the Senate, the Principal Officers, Provosts of Colleges, Directors and Heads of Units, staff and students for the spirit of comradeship with which we have been working together over the years. We appreciate the presence of all visiting vice chancellors here, rectors and provosts who are here to rejoice with us as expressed in their goodwill messages. We appreciate the family members of our founder, the staff of Emmanuel Chambers Ibadan, staff of Afe Babaola International Study Center Ibadan, the National Universities Commission, NUC, Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM, several other agencies that have accommodated our students for internship and the security operatives for their support. We appreciate the blessings of our royal fathers and the clergy. The support of the media cannot be overemphasized. I am most grateful to the Ceremonies Committee, chaired by the tireless Professor Sylvester Ujo. Thank you for the good job you did. My address will not be complete without expressing our profound appreciation for everyone that has traveled from far and near to share the joy of today with us. I congratulate in particular the happy parents and guardians of the lucky graduating students of today. We appreciate the support of the alumni. They have been good ambassadors of the university. Your love for your alma mater is highly commendable. In the same way, I express the appreciation of the governing council and management to all staff and students who tireless support on alloy cooperation and stellar contribution have culminated in the success and joy of today. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are grateful for your presence and wish you all the best. Thank you all for your kind attention and God bless you. Thank you. Vice-Chancellor, sir, may I respectfully invite the Chancellor of Afe Babalola University, Are Afe Babalola, OFR, CON, SAN, FNIALS, LLD London, LLD Unilag, FCIARB, DNEAT, NDA, the founder and chancellor of Afe Babalola University, Chancellor Sir.
ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. Thank you. Your Royal Highnesses, my Lords, Honorable Justice, Adejuma and wife, please stand up for recognition. Thank you. Just so gachi. Are you there? Thank you. My Lord Justice Begore of Court of Appeal. Give them a round of applause, please. My Lord Retired Honorable Justice Begore the man after whom we named this hall. Is he around? Stand up. People want to know you. That is Justice Begore, and this you are in Begore's hall. Give me a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. The representative of African Development Bank here. Representative of Africa Developed Bank. Yes. Give them a round of applause. I will tell you why they are important to us later. Representative of the NUC, Dr. Mayaki. Is he around? Thank you. Give me a round of applause. Today, I thank God for what is happening here. Let me apologize to the parents who are standing up, apparently because there are no chairs for them. I apologize sincerely. I can assure you next year when you come here, we are going to increase the capacity of this building. Was established. 
about nine years ago, with the sole purpose of reviving education to enable Nigeria to produce great men like the awardees of today. I'm very proud of our achievements. It is no more news that within nine years, Abuja is populated with students from all the starting states of this country, including Abuja. Indeed, if there's any university that can be called federal university, it is Afe Babalola University. Give us a round of applause for that. You are truly representative of the country. It is for this reason that we have been acknowledged as a model, a benchmark, and reference point for other universities, including those which are much, much older than us, 60, 70 years old. We have overtaken all of them. A round of applause. And so, then you see the sky as the pride of university education in this country. The pride of university education. I want to be pride of family and also pride of Nigeria eventually. To my staff, I acknowledge with thanks the commitment of all of you for challenging a new course of education which will help in rebuilding Nigeria. The title of my address today is Rebuilding Nigeria Through Quality and Functional Education. To the parents, I would like to thank all of you for faith in Abuja, which made you to send your children to this university. Many of you have withdrawn your children from overseas university because you say you believe and it is true that there is a university properly so called in Nigeria. It is Abuja. A round of applause. It's, it's your university. The government. Please let me have perfect silence. I do not want to be an insane man. It's an insane man who addresses a market. This is not a market. I would like to seize this opportunity to appeal to the government of this country, whether state or federal, to come and see our ultramodern, magnificent 400 bed multi system hospital, which is Equipped with pneumatic tube system, not anywhere in Nigeria, five modular operating theaters, not anywhere in Nigeria, and complete laboratory equipment supplied by Abbott Laboratory of Chicago, not one in Nigeria. Only very recently, Astra Hospital Dubai, largest hospital in the Middle East and in India entered into strategic partnership with our board to provide high-level medical facilities and support in maternal care, apartheid, emergency surgery, orthopedics, liver, and other areas. It is of it suffices to say that all stakeholders who have visited our board hospital are unanimous in their body that the hospital will be the answer to outward medical treatment on which we spend billions every year. I respectfully urge all of you here today to make a trip to that place and send your comment to us. Rose and Airport. I know what you all went through to get to this place. I know what students went through to get to this place. The subway that has been maintaining the road from the town to this place for many years. I regret that access is a major problem for our country, not a little alone. And indeed, for Abuad anyway, which has been described as the destination for academic excellence in Nigeria. You are all witness to the fact that the very, very roads are very bad, in fact, are in bad condition. Of course, there's no rail line in Egypt. 
and rail line. All Nigerians will benefit immensely from the multi system hospital, which has the largest recruitment and staff from Asa Hospital in Dubai. I'm therefore seeking the opportunity to appeal to the federal government and urge you to join me to revisit the Kisera Airport project earlier put for the state in 2009 for the benefit not, not only of Abuja for all of us. Now to the Ministry of Education. At least through Dr. Mayak, I want to especially thank the Royal Minister of Education, the respected Malam Adamu Adamu, and the Executive Secretary of NUC, His Academic Excellence, Professor Abubakar Harachid, MNI. And indeed, all the staff of NUC for their unending support and stream of advice to this university. I pay special tribute to NUC for the good news received recently by increasing admission quotas in law from 180 to 300. <laughs> that will enable us to take more students. And because of this recent increase, tell your friends who still want to do law, we can take them now. Give a round of applause for that. I believe Dr. Mayaki would tell the NUC that their judgment in increasing the number is justified by the recent performance of our students in the latest result, uh, uh, examination, Abuja, where our students came up with 12 of them in class and once the 500% passed. I want to especially thank Mrs. Solani Day. Please stand up, where's she? For job well done. Give him give her a round of applause. Now I have an, one or two suggestions. Because each university is entitled to grade its people and give their degree. That's why most of our university degrees are not respected anywhere. It is my belief that in order to rebuild Nigeria through quality and functional education, there is need to ensure high standard of learning in all universities as we have in Abuja. Those who came to examine our medical students said our standard was very high. I therefore wish to suggest the Minister of Education and the Nigerian AUC should establish a national examination body that will set examination for all final students in each course throughout the country. I know many people will not like it. They say, yes, we are bragging because we are good. But we want standards to be updated. So, this will no doubt put an end to perennial, perennial strikes and make teachers to sit up, knowing fully well that the students are going to take the same examination with Abuja University. In the end, Nigeria will be better for it. Now I talk briefly about quality education. Quality and final and functional education is most desirable, but it is expensive. It is no news that the education sector is in, in this country is in crisis. Only this morning I listened to television where a body is recommending all governors to, to, to declare a, uh, education crisis in every state. I never knew about that when I wrote my paper. So I also want to join up all those people who love education. So all federal government to increase the allocation to, for education to 26%, which UNESCO recommended. Right now, what is allocated is about 7%. Far, far below what is done in other countries. So there were these of today. I've introduced earlier to you two 
eminent Nigerians, two in national, international Nigerians, two Nigerians who are world people. We are rewarding them for what they have done. Dr. Akiru Miyarideji, Adishina, the President of the African Development Bank, and Mr. John Olaichi Momo, the Chairman of the Executive Officer of Chairman who both of whom have conquered the world due to quality and functional education. And now, so briefly, I want to, want to listen to me. John Momo, one of the witnesses today, as I told you, is bringing all for Nubia free of charge to the whole world. But beyond that, he has made further promises. He feels that this university has not been giving proper advertisements. He's going to give a university advertisement that is necessary to let people know what we are doing here. Give me a round of applause. He has what they call Chinese Academy in Abuja. He's going to establish Chinese Academy in Abuad. That's not all. He has promised to assist the mass communication with all nursing facilities to take off and compete with Chinese in broadcasting. From time immemorial, universities have always given what we call honorary degrees. But in Nigeria, it has been bastardized. We give honorary degrees to every John and Harry. Whereas, to give honorary degree, which we do here anyway, there are certain conditions which must be filled. Such people must, one, have a single must have a single reputation to extraordinary contribution or provision of services, outstanding achievements, exemplary leadership, academic excellence. I can tell you that these two people have all that is required in law to become a witness of this institution. You only need to read the newspaper or watch television to know what these two awardees of today have done to the world. They are great citizens of Nigeria, but also citizens of the world. Finally, to my graduating students, I congratulate all of you for the completion of, the, of your journey. It has, not, it has not been easy. I advise you that as you are going into the world, Always remember that your, <coughs> sorry, that your parents sent you here in the fuller hope that you eventually be the pride of your family and by extension pride of Papua. Always remember the philosophy of Papua and the vote of Papua. Determination, industry, and integrity. Once you have those three ambition, you will conquer the world. I want to end this address by quoting from a letter written by one of you, one of the pioneer engineering students here who left this university said, truth be told, you are a blessing to the world. He was addressing me. Your dedication to humanity is like no other. Even the queen had to honor you because she doesn't know one can overlook your contribution. You have sponsored the fatherless. You have fought for the weak. And powerless. And more importantly, you are always in the habit of leading leaders and making everybody better. I'm so proud I met you. I'm glad that I had the opportunity to be mentored by you. Every time you say, quote, you will be greater than me. That's what I tell you. Then you ask, you ask, but how is that possible? But then you have taught us just how to go about it. You have planted yourself in every one of us. Some of us might not know it now, but they will come to appreciate you some time later. At the founders 
Wednesday award yesterday. Endowment and Convention Dinner. Awards were given to deserving staff and students. As time goes on, during this solemn celebration, we leave out the names of a few of them. But it's enough to say that this year, the amount we have given out to encourage you to work hard and achieve excellence is 90 million. You have the list and your name is there to avoid any discrepancy. Each of the awardees is check signed and ready now. So you can see the person who will give out your check. There can be no question of I did receive my award. Thank you for listening and continue to do the game of the new video. God bless you all.
Congratulations. My name is uh, Dr. Andwasipo, Director of Center for Entrepreneurship Studies of the Benue State University, Makodi. I'm here to represent my Vice Chancellor, Professor Moses Musukembe. On behalf of the Council and the Senate of Benue State University, we congratulate you. Thank you. My name is Omolulu Abikinro, Registrar in this other university in Amokondo State, representing the Vice Chancellor of that institution. On behalf of the Board of Forces, and of course, the member of our Board of Forces is here seated, that is Mr. John Momo, the Council and Senate of that university. Professor Babalola Chinedu, 
the company council and the students entirely. I bring good word messages to you in New Space. Congratulations. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Professor Adegoki Adegite. I'm here on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, Ondo State University of Science and Technology, and the entire community of Kusu Tech to firstly state with the Abwad community on this occasion of the ninth anniversary and the sixth convocation. Congratulations and more glories. My name is Professor Olufebi Yowu, representing the Vice Chancellor of Lagos State University. On behalf of the Governing Council, the Senate, and the entire Lagos State University community, we congratulate you today on your Founders Day and your convocation ceremony. Thank you so much. I, Professor Krista Gloria Wanki Iwagye Ero, a self-declared ambassador of Afe Babalola University Ado Egiti, a humble bundle of testimony to whom an almost impossible opportunity was given by Are Bamofi Afe Babalola to harness, sharpen, and hone her skills on the platform of the doctrine of her faithism and the largesse of Afe Babalola University at Kitty for the benefit of the University of California, Los Angeles, most respectfully stand here today to congratulate the founder, his wife, and the entire academic community of the Citadel of Learning for being a benchmark, a reference point, and for being the epitome of functional and quality education or quality tertiary education. I congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you, our dear Vice Chancellors. I have the great honor once again to call on the EAS of the National U uh, University Commission, represented by Dr. Chris Mayaki, to deliver his goodwill message. Dr. Mayaki, please. Council, 
the vice chancellor, the management team, parents, and graduates of Ape Babalola University on this auspicious occasion of the nine Founders Day celebrations and the six convocation ceremonies of this great institution. I acknowledge the audacity, the uncommon zeal with which the founder of Abuad Are Ape Babalola has peerlessly applied himself fully to the task of providing qualitative, inclusive, and robust university education in Nigeria. The National Universities Commission, being the flagship regulatory and quality assurance agency in the country, will not rest on his oars in the arduous but surmountable task of ensuring the orderly development of degree awarding institutions and Nigerian universities, which today are 165 in number. As was the case in previous occasions, the Commission would like to commend the deliberate, the conscious, and unrelentless, unrelenting efforts, as well as the sustained contributions of Afe Babalola University to, in making the necessary positive impact on Nigeria's higher education landscape, consistent with government's desire to improve the country's human capital development index. Indeed, we are gathered here to celebrate another milestone in the annals of this institution's history and that of our beloved country. Today, we will witness the award of degrees to graduates, award of prizes to deserving students, and the award of honorary degrees to two Nigerians who have distinguished themselves. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Akin Wumi Adeshino, President of the African Development Bank, and Mr. John Momo, Chairman Channels Group, over their well-deserved accolades and recognition. May I use this occasion to inform this important gathering that with the increasing number of universities in Nigeria, and a quality index of 68%, measured by the number of programs with full accreditation status, it became necessary for the NUC under my watch, that's the ESNUC speaking, to recently constitute a strategy advisory group that would support our efforts at repositioning the commission and indeed the Nigerian university system to meet national needs and our yearning for global relevance and competitiveness. The committee of eminent persons is drawn from some of Nigeria's best, and most of the members are either former vice chancellors, former ministers of education, and many other university leaders. I'm pleased to inform that the committee has in a multi-stakeholder collegiate, and within a short span, been able to put together a blueprint and the attendant roadmap for the revitalization, rapid revitalization of university education in Nigeria. The Stratcom has also turned out for the first time in recent history some legacy documents, such as the State of University Education in Nigeria, the Director of Full Professors in Nigerian Universities, including well-researched monographs and the much-awaited Statistical Digest, which are pertain to cross-cutting issues in higher education. Permit me, the founder, distinguished participants, to re-echo the special recognition and deep sense of gratitude that we owe the chairman of this group, and who is no other but our own Professor Peter Akinshola Okebukola, for the extraordinary energy and unflinching support that he has extended to the Abu Bakr Adamu Rashid revolution at the NUC. It was under the tutelage, this is personal now, of Professor Okebukola well over 17 years ago, then as ES, that I acquired as his special assistant considerable organizational, professional, and administrative skills. And I thank you, sir, because every moment with Professor Okebukola, our erudite scholar, constitutes yet a learning curve for me. Thank you so much, sir. In addition, the Commission is currently undertaking a comprehensive review of the benchmark minimum academic standards documents in all disciplines and programs to incorporate contemporary realities 
emerging trends and make the curriculum more responsive to the needs of the market and the society at large. Today, I will not dwell much on our efforts at repositioning the Nigerian university system, but I am confident that in the no distant future, the mechanisms we have put in place will begin to yield positive results. Let me now focus on Apeba Boloi University, an institution which was licensed by the National Universities Commission barely nine years ago, but celebrating its sixth convocation ceremony today is certainly a trailblazer and a role model to other universities, irrespective of proprietorship. The giant strides by this university are commendable and worthy of emulation. We commend the university for consistently being in the forefront of educational reforms, innovation, and expansion. The monumental achievements we are celebrating today have been made possible through the singular and well-conceived vision of an extraordinary legal luminary, a senior citizen and founder of the university, Are Afe Babalola. Only recently I had the honor to witness the induction of the first set of 43 medical doctors produced by Abuad, eight of whom came out with distinctions. At that event, I stated that the request by the university for increased admission quota for the university's colleges of law and medicine will be dispassionately looked into in appreciation of the quantum of human and material investments in those two colleges with a view to reviewing the current situation consistent with the realities on ground. I'm pleased to inform that these conversations have started to yield results and as the Vice Chancellor and the founder themselves have alluded to, the quota for law degree program has just, has just been increased from 180 to 300. <laughs> While a series of additional interactions with other key stakeholders, such as the Medical and Dental Council, have also been lined up for the oncoming weeks and months, and I'm given to understand today and that law graduates of Abuad have continued to demonstrate distinction, academic credibility, and high quality learning outcomes with 12 of the university's graduates attaining first class division in the most recent Nigerian law school final bar exams. In conclusion, may I, on behalf of the National Universities Commission, most heartily congratulate everyone who is part of this university success story. Special tributes and congratulations must go to the staff, students, and their parents alike. I enjoin the graduates who have been found worthy in both character and learning by this university to fully contribute their quota to nation building and to be good ambassadors of their alma mater. Pursuing honor and due diligence as well as quality and excellence in all ramifications. I wish you resounding success in your succeeding professional and career pursuits, but always remember, always remember that talent and even your newly earned certificates cannot be substitutes to hard work and an ending and an enduring entrepreneurial legacy. I thank you for your attention. God bless Afe Babalola University. Long live the visionary and his lofty dreams. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you for listening. Thank you.
the United Nations Secretary General, Ban Ki-moon, appointed him as one of 17 global leaders to spearhead the Millennium Development Goals, along with Bill Gates, the Spanish Prime Minister, and the President of Rwanda. He was named Person of the Year by Forbes African Magazine in 2013. His other awards include the 2015 Extraordinary Achievement Award by Silver Bear Television, 2013 Forbes African Person of the Year, and the 2007 Yara Prize for the African Green Revolution in Oslo, among several others. A distinguished development economist and agricultural development expert, he was vice president of the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, Agra, and associate director at the Rockefeller Foundation in New York, where he worked for a decade in senior leadership positions, including the regional office director and representative for Southern Africa. Dr. Adeshina was the principal economist for the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, principal economist and coordinator of the West African Rise Economics Task Force at the West African Rise Development Association, and assistant principal economist at the International Crop Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics. He was also the president of the African Association of Agricultural Economists. It is no doubt most befitting that upward an icon in innovation, quality education, and honor is today honoring this exceptionally gifted manager of resources. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present to you Dr. Akiwumi Adeshina, a seasoned agricultural economist, a robust leader of men, an astute manager of resources, a man with a strength of character to use his office and indeed his all for the achievement of the good of the majority. A man who has selflessly revolutionized agriculture in Nigeria and ensured global food security. A man with an uncommon passion to unlock wealth for African economies and poverty, hunger, and malnutrition and lift millions of Africa's poor, especially women and youth, into Africa's emerging middle class. The multiple awards winning eight president of the African Development Bank Dr. Akiwumi Adishina for admission to the degree of Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it's a watershed in the affairs of today. An honorary degree of a university is the highest degree a university can confer. The awardee of today is a person keenly interested in that.
Yes, the culture. Yes, come out, come out quickly, please. Unica goodness. First class. Well, I'm happy for this event. That I'm part of it. Dr. Adeshina is a man after my heart. He visited this institution some years ago when he was a minister. I had very glowing pupils to give to this university. He is a man who wants progress for this country. But more importantly, he is a citizen of the world. And I want to call on his wife, my wife, here, there, and my first class today, you are not informed. Go and sit down. No, you are not that of a seat. You are, you are a lawyer. Go away. Don't want to. the authority of Senate and conf I confer on this highly celebrated Nigeria the degree of Doctor of Medicine Honorary Council of Asabala University. Can we have fun fair, please?
entonces founder of Afebabola University, the great R.A. Afebabola, Yeye R.A. Mudukwe Babalola, your indefatigable wife, and she's so beautiful. The acting pro-chancellor and chairman of council, Ambassador Adeniron, the vice chancellor, Professor I.G. Shafe, registrar, and all officers of the university, Honorable Justice Alpha Belgore, former Chief Justice of Nigeria. My big brother, brother uh, Professor Okebu Kola, Executive Secretary of the National Universities Commission, Royal Fathers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2018 from Afe Babala University. It is such a huge honor for me to be awarded a honorary doctorate from the Afebabala University. I thank the founder of the university, I read Dr. Afebabalola, the vice chancellor, the university council, and all the university staff and students for the honor that you have bestowed on me. And I would like to congratulate my co honoree and my dear brother, the chairman of Channels Television, Mr. John Momo, a leader and a pride for African television. John, you are incredible. I think Nigeria should stop giving TV television station year of their awards. Channel television has won it 12 times in a row, so they should just let channel television keep it for life. I share this honor today with my darling wife, Grace, who is here with me today, for I will not be who I am today without her. And that's one lesson to the graduates in life. If you're going to live with somebody for the rest of your life, invest your time and energies in making the right choice. It's your most important decision. The story and history of this university is one of right decisions that should be well studied by those involved in university education globally. Nothing happens without vision. Your founder, Are Afebabalola, is one of Nigeria's most distinguished elder statesmen. He is also a man of incredible vision. As Nigeria's Minister of Agriculture, I have so much about this university that I decided to come here myself. I was very impressed and I'm even more impressed today. Today, Afebabala University is a role model for university education in Nigeria and in Africa. This is a world-class university and it's a place, it has its place in global education well assured. The same way people talk about Harvard University, that's how they will soon be referring globally to Afebabalala University. As you know, gold, when you see one, Afebabalala University is all gold. Now, success doesn't come so easy. It takes time, dedication, and vision. I highly commend you, Are Afebabalala, for your unparalleled vision to develop this first class university. Please put your hands together for him. The future of Africa, and indeed Nigeria, depends on having a well-educated population. The wealth of nations does not depend on having natural resources. Oil will finish one day. But a nation with well-educated people will shine and lead in the world. To you, the graduating class of 2018, I say hearty congratulations. Today is all about you. The future is built from today. Endeavor to make the right choices. Your choices are like navigating instruments. They will determine where you will be. I urge you, do not sacrifice your tomorrow on the altar of wrong choices. Choose right and do right. 
Your world class education from this first class institution sets you already apart. You are a product of world class training. You've been trained to be different, so be different in all that you do. My parents used to tell me, remember the child of whom you are. They taught me that values matter, that honesty matters, that fairness matters, that transparency matters, and that integrity matters. Yes, your academic qualifications will help you to climb the ladders of professional development, but you will only impact the world and your nation and your community through your character, your values, your honesty, and your integrity. You will achieve successes as you go, but always remember you can never achieve it alone. Be humble, for humility is like a propeller. It shoots you to the highest levels. It was Apostle Paul in the Bible that said, add to your faith. In the same vein, I urge you today to add to your academic qualifications the virtues of honesty, humility, integrity, and humanity. And above all, remember you are human. You cannot be anything without God. Put God first in everything, and he will guide and direct you. So go out and shine, for your time has come and God's glory will shine upon you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Hearty congratulations to you all and your parents and families. May your future be bright as you join the generations of those who will light the paths for others to follow. That's what your great founder, Are Afeba Balala, has done. Go out and do the same. Once again, thank you all very much, and God bless you. Chancellor, sir, standing before you is Mr. John Momo, the chairman of the Channels Media Group and chairman and chief executive officer of Channels Television. He is renowned. He is a renowned broadcast journalist with a vast experience spanning four decades. Before founding Channels, John worked variously as senior news anchor, reporter, and producer for Radio Nigeria 
and the Nigerian Television Authority. In 23 years, he has grown from being a star employee to creating a multi-million dollar media enterprise, employing over 400 staff across Nigeria, Africa, Europe, and the United States, and reaching the world with the same business model that some armchair analysts predicted would fail. Here is a man whose vision, passion, and tenacity of purpose are balanced by a willingness to reinvent and pivot where necessary. John's commitment to excellence has seen him and his companies winning awards and recognitions over several decades. These include Nigeria Media Merit Award for News Anchor of the Year, the Nigerian Union of Journalists Award for Newscaster of the Year, Constituency for Africa Award for Excellence in Broadcasting, United States of America, Planet Africa Award for Professionalism and Entrepreneurship, Canada, and the African Achievers Award for Professionalism, among several others. John is a graduate of the University of Lagos with a master's degree in international law and diplomacy and a bachelor's degree in mass communication. An alumnus of the Lagos and Harvard Business Schools, John Momo is a fellow of the Nigerian Leadership Initiative, the Chevening Scholars Initiative, the Nigerian Guild of Editors, the Nigerian Institute of Journalism, the Nigerian Institute of Information Management, and the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators. John Momo is the chairman of the Broadcasting Organizations of Nigeria, BORN. President of the Unilag Alumni Association Worldwide and President of the Chevening Alumni Association. In December 2005, John Olachi Momo was conferred with the National Honor of Officer of the Order of the Niger, OON. His other awards include Lifetime Achievement Award by the Nigerian Information Society, Entrepreneur of the Year by the Faith Foundation, Entrepreneur of the Year by the Institute of Directors, Nigeria, Distinguished Alumni Award by the Lagos Business School, and the Zeek Award for Entrepreneurship. A member of the New York-based International Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, John Momo, serves as a juror for the annual International MI Awards and the Association for International Broadcasting. His television station, Channels Television, is the only Nigerian and indeed African broadcast station to have won the Television Station of the Year Award a record 12 times. Seven of them consecutively. John is a Red Cross ambassador. He sits on the board of many non-governmental organizations, including the University of Lagos Advancement Board, the Peace Tech Lab of the US Institute of Peace, the Public Media Alliance, formerly Commonwealth Broadcasting Association, the Constituency for Africa, Washington, DC, Special Olympics, Nigeria, Sickle Cell Foundation, Tri-State Heart Foundation, and the Center for Integrated Health and Development. He is happily married to Shola, also a broadcaster. They are blessed with three children. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present to you John Olachi Momo, a consummate broadcaster who over the years has grown to be a media entrepreneur, employing several hundreds of people in Nigeria, Africa, Europe, and the Americas, a humanitarian and investor in humanity, a silent and salient contributor to quality and functional education, 
through his chosen career, journalism, where he has excelled beyond measures. The president of the Unilag Alumni Association for admission to the degree of Doctor of Letters, honoris causa. <laughs>
philanthropist and an educationist and indeed a legal luminary. The Deputy Vice, the Chancellor, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, faculty members, special guests, indeed, my very good friend, Dr. Adeshino, the pride of Africa, the pride of the world, and his amiable wife. And then, of course, forgetting the woman behind the throne, Ye Ye Are. Parents, distinguished graduates, my team from Channels Born and the Unilag Alumni Association, a very special guest, a man I admire very much, Justice Alpha Bagori. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you, and thank you very much indeed for this honor. I am humbled, I am thrilled, I give glory to God. This is the day that the Lord has made, and indeed we shall all rejoice and be glad in it. I'm really so committed to work with Afeb Abalala University, and in speaking to the students yesterday, here in this hall and at the social sciences department, I made some promises which the chancellor has enumerated. Again, I reiterate, I stick to those promises. And in my very own calling, my own core area, the MASCOM department, MASCOM, here I come. I just want to congratulate all the graduates once again and to wish you well as you embark on this journey. I have no doubt that you will excel because you have graduated from an excellent institution. So excellence will be your watchword. It will follow you wherever you go. You will prosper in all fronts. And the Lord God will bless you all the days of your life. I thank my wife, who is not here. She's actually on the way, to, uh, she's away in the UK. And my children, I have four angels. Angel Shola, my wife, and my three daughters, who are also angels. Because every one of us has, has an angel that the Lord has given here on earth. And as Dr. Akumi was a, additional was a, a, a extolling his wife, I, I just said to myself, that's my man. My wife was also here that I commended her today. Thank you very much indeed. I'm really so thrilled. Yesterday I gave a speech to the students. Today I don't intend to make this long. But all I can say is, God bless you all. Thank you.
call on the president of the Alumni Association to officially welcome our new honorees into the Alumni Association. Mr. Kweshobajo, please. the executive and all the members of the Abwad Alumni Association. Hi, Ms. Tokbe Shobaju, the Abwad Alumni President. Officially welcome Dr. Akinwumi Adeshino into the Abwad Alumni Association. Congratulations, sir.
I now call on the Provost, College of Postgraduate Studies, to present the graduating students in the college for the award of the degrees. The Provost, College of Postgraduate Studies, please. Sir, in the name of the President and Board of Trustees of Afe Babalola University, with the consent of Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students, standing and those absent for good cause, to whom I stand proxy who have fulfilled the requirements of the university, completed the approved course of study, passed the prescribed examinations, and found worthy, both in character and in learning, whose names appear on this list to be awarded the postgraduate diploma of Afe Babalola University. the recommendation of University Senate and by my authority as Chancellor of this University, I admit you all to the degrees of postgraduate diploma in the University. Congratulations. students whose names appear in the convocation brochure have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Afe Babalola University and have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the higher degree of their colleges. Will the graduates in the College of Postgraduate Studies please rise and remain standing. I now call on the Provost College of Postgraduate Studies to present the candidates for higher degree in the College of Postgraduate for the award of their degrees. Provost. Of Afe Babalola University, with the consent of the Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students standing and those absent for good cause to whom I stand proxy who have fulfilled the requirements of the university, completed the approved course of study, passed the prescribed examinations and found worthy both in character and in learning whose names appear on this list to be awarded a higher degree of postgraduate diplomas and masters of science degree in microbiology, biology, management, accounting, finance, economics, and mass communication of Afe Babalola University. Chancellor, sir. On the recommendation of University Senate and by my authority as the Chancellor of this University, I admit you all to the various degrees. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. 
In the program of petroleum engineering, Dipo Salami, Temisa Olufemi, Femi Fred, Fikemi Victor, Ojugu, Tega Bebet, Chancellor, sir. On the recommendation of the University Senate and by the authority of all, as Chancellor of this university, I admit you all of Bachelor of Engineering. to post degrees, the College of Law, Bachelors of Law, LLB, Chancellor Sir, the following graduating students whose names appear in the convocation brochure have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Afe Babalola University and have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degree of their college. Will the graduating students in the College of Law please rise and remain standing? I now call on the Provost College of Law to present the candidates in the college for the award of the degrees. The Provost, Ma. Chancellor, sir, in the name of the President and Board of Trustees of Afe Babalola University, with the consent of Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students standing and those absent for good cause to whom I stand proxy, who have fulfilled the requirements of the University completed the approved course of study, passed the prescribed examination, and found worthy, both in character and in learning, whose names appear on this list to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Laws of Apeva Balola University. Mr. Chancellor Sam, On the recommendation of the University Senate and by my authority as the Chancellor of this, of this University, I admit you all the degree of Bachelor of Law. Congratulations. <laughs> Those students who have obtained
getting a first class degree. Are they okay? But they came me female equity stage. Akina Wosu Moino Lua female on the stage. Akin Pelumi Olayemi female on the stage. Ayamba Jane female cross river stage. Egbude Blossom female Imo stage. Inokela Anita Benue State. Akiowu Chinonso Gladys female Imo State. Iwek Bulem Chiemela female Abia State. Mbonu Olivia female Imo State. Ogukwu Inve in Inenima Jen, female in Nugu State. Olu Obadeji Olua Pelumi Abigail. She is the best graduate in students 2018 in the College of Law. Oseagu Anita, female from Delta State. And Maje Kodumi Olu Olua Bosum male Ogun State. With the, with the kind permission of the Chancellor, may I now have the permission to read out the names and invite the 12 College of Law 2017 graduates who excelled at the law school and obtained first class at the just concluded 2018 final bar examination at the Nigerian Law School. Ekpo Naomi Marume Sandra Odij Koro Roda Oniodoki Fidelis Adepoju Blessing Adewole Mary Adumo Olua Tosin Akin Yemi Ayomide Dana Gogo Biodele Mustafa Zainab Opajobi Oinloye and Inusa Ajarat Please come forward for the golden handshake of our Chancellor The last year, 2017, law school, first class, obtained by Agbede Oluabukola Justian. Please, Oluabukola, if you are here, please do come forward as well. Your name was not mentioned last year.
tell us, sir, the following students whose names appear in the convocation brochure have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Afe Babalola University and have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degrees of their college. Will the graduates in the College of Medicine and Health Sciences please rise and remain standing? I now call on the Provost, College of Medicine and Health Sciences, to present the candidates in the College of Medicine and Health Sciences for the award of the degree. Provost, College of Medicine and Health Sciences, sir. Chancellor, sir. In the name of the President and Board of Trustees of Afe Babalola University, with the consent of Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students standing here and those absent for good cause to whom I stand proxy, who have fulfilled the requirements of the university, completed the approved course of study, passed the prescribed examination, and found worthy, both in character and in learning, whose names appear on this list, to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Science in Anatomy, Human Nutrition and Dietetics, and Physiology, as well as Bachelor of Medical Laboratory Sciences and Bachelor of Nursing Science. And Chancellor, sir, permit me the singular honor of presenting to you the very first set of graduates that are going to be awarded the Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery degree of Afe Babalola University. Chancellor, sir. On the authority, on the recommendation of the University Senate and by the authority of uh, the Chancellor of this University, I admit you all to the various degrees. Congratulations. <laughs> student of the college, the best overall graduating student, MBBS, and in the medical and laboratory science, Omar do not show favor. Human Nutrition and Dietetics, Aka Timbara Gabriela, Olajuba Olua Tominiwa, and in Physiology, Adishie Claudia Shizom.
Collins, then she also joined them, please. The best graduating student leader, Adelu Baolua Sheu. The best outstanding student philanthropist, Udom Gloriini. The best behaved graduating student, Sonia Ayo Igbala Israel. Agorua Adaize 
Teresa, Department of Geology, Anidima Fortune, Bamidele Kadijat, Ole Sheni Bidemi, Elu Fawoju, Oluwa Shano, and Department of Mathematical and Physical Sciences, Computer Science, Inshel Bala, Roda, Dan Ladi, Akomalafe, Blessing, Tosi. Congratulations. Congratulations to the first class recipients from College of Sciences. You can go back to your seat. Thank you very much. The College of Social and Management Sciences. Admission to post degrees. Chancellor, sir. The following students whose names appear in the convocation brochure have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Afeb Abalola University and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degrees of their college. Will the graduates in the College of Social and Management Sciences please rise and remain standing? I now call on the Provost College of Social and Management Sciences to present the candidates in the College of Social and Management Sciences for the award of the degrees. The Provost, sir. Chancellor, sir, in the name of the President and Board of Trustees of Afe Babalola University, with the consent of Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students standing and those absent for good cause, to whom I stand proudly, who have fulfilled the requirements of the university, completed the approved course of studies, passed the prescribed examination, and found worthy, both in character and in learning, whose names appear on this list to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Banking and Finance, Business Administration, Economics, Intelligence and Security Studies, International Relations and Diplomacy, Media and Communication Studies, Peace and Conflict Studies, Political Science, Social Justice, Tourism and Event Management of Afe Babalola, University. Mr. Chancellor, sir. On the authority, on the recommendation of the University Senate, and by my authority as the Chancellor of this University, I admit all of you, your different degrees. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, sir, it's my honor and privilege to ask students graduating in first class to come forward. In economics, a Oche, a E. Onime, Ladeji, Ladeji. In a county, I beg good day if I look at Fumilayo. I do a little Esther Oluwatadiola. I can't. I 
Evelyn Okon, Onimisi Taira Oize, Idris Jamila, Jamila Cherish, Adewale Esther Oluwatanyola is the best graduating student in the College of Social and Management Sciences, and she's also a chartered accountant. Equally, Idris Jamila Cherish is, has been qualified as a chartered accountant. In banking and finance, first class, Aito Janafif Ejeme, Esofade Zafia. In media and communication studies, first class, Emmanuel Deborah Okayami, Femi Fred Fisayo Stephanie, Ishaku Sabina Masi, Kola Wale Tobiloba Esther, Kushimo Areolua Stephanie, Maxi Joy Taimako, Unya Dianabasi Ubokutu. Also, first class in international relations and diplomacy, Amuda Kausara Bisala. How do Emike Moranika, Ijeru Blessing, Oganakalo, Ofuegu, Amanda Esther, Olatuki Tolu Animi Isaac, Yusuf Faiza Abdulatif, Ade Yanu Ore of Olu Ade Bimpe, Salaudi Amina Ololade, and finally, First class in peace and conflict studies, Vulasi Korika Balibene. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations. Please go back to your seats. Congratulations. Will all graduating students please rise? All graduating students, please rise. If you will recall, about four or five years ago, during your matriculation, I asked you all to put your tassels to the right-hand side, that you will be qualified after four or five years to put it on your left. Today is the day. Please put your tassels on the left hand side. Graduates of Afe Babalola University, the undaunted set of 2018. Congratulations. 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 Go into the world and be dauntless. The president of alumni, please come and administer the alumni. Oh. Don't let class 2016. Don't let class 2018. Please kindly open to page 119 on your program. And please remain standing. Page 119. Kindly repeat after me. When in 1896, the first marathon was run in Greece, the people of Antes completed the ceremony by taking a pledge. Today, the 21st day of October 2018, at the conclusion of the sixth convocation ceremony. Hi, put your name there. A graduate of Afe Babalola University. In the best tradition of a distinguished alumnus, we remain a worthy ambassador of Abwad, a crusader, 
an agent of reformation in university education in Nigeria and beyond. We revere and obey the law of the land, preach upward philosophy of industry, determination and integrity, stand up for moral challenges of our time, invest financially in my alma mater, employ the upward teachings, to create value in all my pursuits. Endeavors, progress, and greater glory of my alma mater, my country, and humanity. So help me God. Congratulations and welcome into the Alberta Alumni Association. Don't let class 2018. Congratulations to you. May I call on the overall best graduating student, Azum Esther Adaobi, to deliver her valedictory speech. Azum, please. Open-minded, kind, 
generous, and considerate. Abad has inspired us to reach for the stars, to fulfill our unique personal potentials, to stand out and move ahead of the crowd with future hopes of becoming CEOs, wealthy and famous lawyers, purposeful engineers, or inspiring passionate doctors and medical scientists. Undoubtedly, Abad, like the comet that its founder, Are Afeba Balola is, appeared on the educational horizon of Nigeria and streaked into the heavens and stays there palpably and immovably. Thank you, our dear founder, for giving birth to Abad for the benefits of humanity. I must also acknowledge with deep sense of gratitude the motherly care and love we have received from the wife of our dear founder, Yeye Are Modupe Babalola. We shall remain eternally grateful for your support and encouragement, particularly for being a tower of strength to our dear founder and for not dissuading him from establishing this university. Posterity will definitely announce your laudable contributions to the coming generations. Here at Abuad, I've had the good fortune of studying in an environment that is conducive to learning, filled with awesome lecturers. It would therefore be remiss of me if I fail to acknowledge our passionate and inspiring lecturers and other staff members who not only supported and guided, but also frequently smoothed the bumpy roads leading to the success we celebrate today. Our dear lecturers, even though we cannot repay you for the invaluable time and effort you have invested to ensure we accomplish our goals and reach the finish line, be encouraged and assured by the understanding that whatever good we accomplish, whatever contributions we make to improve society as we go forth, it is the multiplication of your efforts. At this juncture, therefore, I would like to express our profound admiration for our dear parents, guardians, and family members whose constant, genuine concerns and words of encouragement provided the spur that kept us pushing on. Thank you, our daddies and mommies, for your undying love and support, which have made the accomplishments of this phase of our educational and intellectual development possible. To us, the dauntless, today we are Abad graduates. No doubt, this feat is a major landmark in the journey of our lives. Yet, we should not be oblivious of the fact that our graduation is not an end goal in itself, but a confirmation that we are capable of accomplishing our goals and achieving our dreams when we commit ourselves to them. As Walt Disney rightly said, all our dreams can come true if we encourage and have the courage to pursue them. I dare say, therefore, that we should keep pushing our dreams with boldness, irrespective of the obstacles, potholes, and roadblocks we may encounter on the journey that lies ahead of us. As our name suggests, we must remain dauntless in our efforts to shape ourselves to be the best that we can possibly be and become beacons for the future generation. The world earnestly requires a new generation of scholars, technocrats, and business moguls who can effect a change and go beyond the call of duty. We cannot afford to fail to harness our potentials and use them for the benefit of humanity. Finally, as we thank God for the achievements of the past four years or so, we must brave ourselves, even for the harder tasks of the immediate future. Tomorrow is waiting. Tomorrow is impatient. We are the ones tomorrow is waiting for. Therefore, we cannot be satisfied with the achievements of yesterday. Once again, I say congratulations to the class of 2018, the Dauntless. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you very much, Dr. Azam Esther Adobe. God bless you. Chancellor, sir, may I with respect invite you to declare this ceremony closed. Chancellor, sir.
distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it has been a long, long day, but a, a happy day for that matter. Please permit me to express my sincere apology to Dr. Yusuf Lawal, representative of JAM. Where is he? Please come out. Come out. Come out. Please give me a round of applause as it comes up. It's representing that important organ called JAM. Do you have a word for us? Uh, on behalf of the registrar management and staff of the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, we congratulate our, uh, on this occasion. We congratulate the Council, the Senate, and the graduate students of Afe Babalala Universities on this occasion. We wish you more successes. Thank you very much. Congratulations, sir. Give me a round of applause, please. Well, all of you present here, I said it earlier, it's only a madman that will address a market. I'm not a madman. This is not a market. You want me to close this congregation? Take your seat, everybody, and stop talking. I will not close this congregation unless you sit down. Security man, please go around. Walk out anybody who does not want to sit down. Security man, do your work. You are in an environment where discipline is the order of the day. I told you earlier what happened when I was honored by Nigeria Defense Academy. I thought my university was a discipline one. It was there I saw what order was. Order must be, must be very dear. You either sit down or go away from this place. No more money anymore. Do you hear that? Right? It's a, the problem of this country is a discipline. We are a disciplined university. Any parent who wants a child to be disciplined and send them here must obey us. I'm still hearing some money somewhere. My Lord, Justice Adejum and wife, please the two of you stand up. Give them a round of applause. Is it, there are believers in this university, and their own child is one of those graduated to be. Am I right? Congratulations. Well, we've come to the end of this long celebration. I'm not tired because I'm happy. When you have interest in what you are doing, you are never tired. We are here to breed a new generation of Nigerians. Nigerians that be disciplined. Nigerians that we be determined, industrious, and above all, people of integrity. These are the people. My students, you saw two eminent people we brought here today. Some of you are going to be addition in future. Some of you are going to be your mama in future. Will that not be so? Those of you want to be addition or mama, Stand up. Give your 
first round of applause. And now say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please before we go out, we'll take the upward anthem and the national anthem. But before that, before that, I want to announce to arrest guests from the ADB, arrest guests from Channel's Television Media Group, the visiting vice chancellors, members of the judiciary and the clergy, to please move to the hall opposite us, that is Owolabi to have lunch with the founder. Our friends from the AFDB, Channel Television Media Group, visiting by chancellors, members of the clergy and judiciary. So please go to Wolabi Hall for lunch together with the founder. Meanwhile, if you have lost your bunch of key, we want you to get to your house because this is a car key. If you lost your bunch of keys, please see me immediately after now. Technical team, can we have Abu Anthem and then National Anthem and we we'll close it. Thank you. Gentlemen, the people I mentioned earlier run together with 
members of the Unit Like Alumni Association, go to the hall directly in front of us to have lunch with the panda. God bless you. We appreciate you all. Order. Then uh, procession to procession in reverse order. Please be upstanding and let the procession go out of the hall before every other person. We thank you. Please, if you have misplaced your food, see the CSO. Hello to Hello to If you have misplaced your bunch of keys or telephone, see the university chief security officer, Mr. Benga Olotu. Thank you so very much. The procession is on.